Okay. All right, what's up guys? My name is Will, AKA White Trash Willie. And today I want to teach you how to rotor whip. Basically what that is, is it's a full whip. It's basically a full whip, but you bar spin the opposite way you whip. So it's a bar spin and a tail whip at the same time. For me, I naturally bar spin this way. I naturally whip this way. So a rotor whip is natural to me. Um, so that's why I don't full whip. You know, sometimes people ask me that, but yeah, that's why I rotor whip. Basically, a rotor whip is kind of a difficult trick if you don't really know what you're doing. The first step you want to do is you want to be able to have double whips really good, just so you get used to how slow the whip is actually going to come around, because it's only going to come around like this fast at, at first, which is about the speed of a double whip. You want to be able to double whip, you want to be able to bar spin, you want to be able to bar whip, and if you can whip bar, that'd be really good. Yeah, basically all you do, you just do a bar spin and a tail whip at the same time, but it's not just actually at the same time. This is a little trick that I figured out by myself, is you do a third tail whip, and once it gets a third of the way around, that's when you throw the bar spin. And when you do the bar spin, snap the bar spin. So kind of just do like a slow tail up and snap the bar spin once the whip gets a third of the way around. Once you do that, focus on keeping the whole scooter underneath you. Make sure you just keep the scooter underneath you. Stay centered over it. Don't, don't put the scooter out in front of you and bring it back in because that won't work. You have to keep the scooter underneath you the entire time or else you'll just land weird. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like right now. Yeah, like I said, just this is like the most crucial point of this trick. It's just to throw the bar spin when the tail gets a third of the way around. So that way the bar spin and the tail will finish at the same time. So that way when it's finishing, you'll be able to like land with your bars this way and your deck this way instead of starting at the same time and then uh, try, then trying to get your bars and your deck aligned at the last moment. It just doesn't work. So just make sure you uh, throw the whip first. Yeah, that's about it. Full ups. I'm just going to go into it because I'm sure you guys are curious about full-ups. For me, I do when I do full-ups, I do an oppo bar spin. And I do basically the same theory as I just do a third of tail up, then to the bar, or maybe even just a fourth tail up on a full-up. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll do a few rotor ups on just various stuff now. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh, keep it going.